You have spoken and your courage has proven to the world that these stories do matter and these brave people, these selfless people, matter. This whole journey began with a call from two brave women, Amy Scobie, a former Scientology executive, and her mother, Bonnie Elliott, a lifelong Scientologist, stricken with terminal cancer um, and on her hospice bed, Bonnie summoned the courage to share her story with a singular purpose, and that was, um, well, why they could, while they could, to ensure that no other families suffered what they endured at the hands of Scientology and its destructive practices. Bonnie and Amy lost 10 years of their relationship because they believed they had to follow Scientology's cruel policies. And in the end, their final moments were devoted to turning the tide of the past for the better. Our show is now a platform and an inspiration for countless other brave people still to come forth and speak the undeniable truth. And they continue to do so knowing that they will publicly be attacked by Scientology, by their family, by lifelong friends, who will undoubtedly be forced to shun them. But they persist, and we persist because it's the right thing to do. <coughs> Scientology aside, we are all in need of more people to do the right thing. In a climate where asking questions and merely being a journalist has come under attack, you all continue to show us that the truth can and must prevail. And I thank you all for your tireless fight for inspiring people like me. I dedicate this award to Bonnie and all who uh, share their stories with us. I dedicate to those who will stand up and try to right some wrongs. And I dedicate this to those despite personal danger to themselves, refuse to be silenced no matter whom the bully is, how much money the bully has, or how powerful the bully appears to be. That does take some balls, so thank you. <laughs>